Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. One common question that people have in their mind is how to invest money into the stock market. The two ways are SIP that is systematic investment plan and lump sum. What exactly are these two methods and what are the pros and cons? Let's find out. Starting with SIP, as the name suggests, it is a systematic way of investing. You consistently invest a fixed amount of money on a regular basis into the same security. For example, you want to do a monthly SIP of rupees 10,000 in the Reliance stock. Then every month on a fixed date, irrespective of the ongoing share price of Reliance, you will buy 10,000 rupees worth of Reliance stock. Yes, and this is not an investment recommendation. Generally, people invest in mutual funds using the SIP route. However, this method can be used to invest in any security that you like. Also, SIP is a great way of investing for people who are lazy and forgetful because you have to give a mandate to your bank so the amount gets invested automatically without you having to do anything. This way, you keep investing a part of your monthly income and by the time you retire, you will have a large amount in your portfolio. Another advantage of SIP is rupee cost averaging. Let me give you an example. Let's say your SIP amount is rupees 1000. You invest in a company whose share price is rupees 100. So you will be able to buy 1000 divided by 100 that is 10 shares. Now, next month on the SIP date, the share price falls to rupees 50. So this time you will be able to buy 1000 divided by 50, that is 20 shares. Did you notice, despite your investment amount being constant, in one month you are able to buy just 10 shares because the share price was rupees 100 and in the next month you are able to buy 20 shares of the same company because the share price fell to rupees 50. This continues to happen every month. Whenever the share price rises, you are able to buy less number of shares and whenever the share price falls, you are able to buy more number of shares. Due to this, your average buying price will come down significantly because you will be buying more of your shares when the price is low and you will be buying less of your shares when the price is high. So SIP enables you to take advantage of every fall in the share price. However, this also has a disadvantage. If the share price continues to rise, then every month you will be buying lesser and lesser number of shares and you won't be able to take complete advantage of the rise in share price. You would have been better off if you had invested all your money right at the beginning when the share price was lower. This way, you would have completely captured the rise in the share price and your portfolio would be much higher. Coming to lump sum investing, it is the exact opposite of SIPs. In SIP, we invest small sums of money consistently over a long period of time. However, in lump sum investing, we put in a large amount of money in one go. This method is significantly more risky as compared to SIP. This is because you need to time the market correctly, that is predict whether the valuations are good enough for you to invest such a large amount. For example, you have 1 lakh rupees to invest. You invest when the markets have bottomed out, that is when the markets are at very reasonable valuations. Then in such a case, you have correctly timed the market. However, if you invest when the valuations are quite high and a fall is inevitable, then it is said that you have mistimed the market. If you time the market correctly and invest when the markets are continuously rising, then a lump sum investment will get you higher returns as compared to SIP. However, if the market falls after you make a lump sum investment, then not only will your portfolio go down significantly, but you won't even have funds to take advantage of the lower prices. So, unless and until you are very sure about the timing of the market, 
you should not invest using the lump sum route. I personally prefer SIPs while keeping aside some funds for lump sum investing so that I can take advantage of big falls in the market. Do you have any such strategy? If yes, please share it in the comment section. This video was a little complicated and might be a little difficult to understand. So if you have any doubts, then feel free to ask them in the comment section. I would be glad to answer. If you have any video ideas or you want to discuss anything with me, then you can connect with me on social media. I've put the links in the description box. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for my upcoming videos. Do share it with your friends and family who might be interested in finance. Stay tuned. Thank you.